Hi guys, I'm Heather with Feather Bear Designs and I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys today. Um, I did a glitter on glitter on glitter stencil and got asked how I did it. So I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on what I used and how I did it and hopefully it is easy for you guys. Um, for the sake of speeding up the process, this cup already has epoxy on it. So it's not just loose glitter underneath the stencil. And I already put the stencil I'm gonna be using on there. Um, in this case, I chose a rose. And I'm gonna do multiple colors in that. So I can do a list of the colors in the comments, in the details, let you guys know what I'm using. But I'm using Recollections glitter and I'm using Martha Stewart glitter. And I'm using these little guys here because I don't need very much. So I have Sugar Light, Janelle, Orchid, and Coral by Martha Stewart. And then I have Emerald Recollections, Paradise Recollections, and Pesto from Recollections. So I'm going to move this down so you guys can see what I'm doing. And if I skip over anything or I don't cover something enough, please leave a comment and I will get back to you and give you the information on what I did or how I did it. Get some more light here. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I use a paintbrush for my Mod Podge and I use Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge. It's what I prefer, I don't like the sprays. You wanna make sure that your stencil is down completely. You don't want that lifting up. And I'm just going to paint the Mod Podge onto my stencil. And just make sure you get in all the little areas. If you go both directions with your brush, I find that that works best. That way you don't miss any of the little spaces. And then also smooth it with your brush to make sure that you don't have any harsh lines in there created by the Mod Podge. Now what I'm going to do with these multiple colors is I'm going to use the darkest to the lightest and create a little bit of a ombre on the petals. This one's new, it's not open yet. This first color I'm using is Janelle by Recollections. Make sure I keep this in the frame here. I'm gonna start at the base of where each petal would be. Can you guys see what I'm doing there? I'm just going around the bottom of each petal, really the center of the flower. And then up here, a little bit up here so that it is fluid. Dumping that on there. And then I have paper for each color and I just dump the excess off onto one of those pieces of paper. I'm gonna use the next color here, which is Sugar Light. And I'm going to go right above that last color I just did. And then dump off the excess. Now with the lightest color that I have, which is Orchid, I'm going to go back in here. You guys see, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. And fill in the rest of my stencil. So that's what it looks like so far, not too impressive, right? This is the Coral by Martha Stewart, and just the last little edges around the outside of the flower I'm going to do in that color because it's going to give a little bit of a contrast. Okay. 
Now for the leaves, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna alternate the greens that I'm using and I'll start with Paradise. And I'm just going to sprinkle the Paradise into where the leaves are. Oops. This is the same color, guys, just a different container. That little one isn't opened yet. So I'm going to sprinkle from way up here because what I want is for the glitter to have variations. I don't want it to be too dense with any of the colors. So I'm just sprinkling this lightly into the area where the leaves are. And I'm going to take emerald and do the same thing kind of far away so that it just lightly dusts on there. Now, if you notice that you have a few places like here and here where the Mod Podge dried a little bit faster than you could get the glitter on, that's not a problem because we're going to do multiple layers on this. So what I'm going to do is my Mod Podge is pretty well sticky on there. I have, where is it? Should have all this handy, right? Rust-Oleum Glitter Clear Sealer. And I'm gonna take this outside really quick and just spray a quick little burst of this sealer over the top of this so that I can move on to the next layer and I will be right back. Okay guys, I am back. What I did was I just walked outside with this and I did a quick couple little bursts of the sealer on top of my stencil so that the glitter that I have down already doesn't budge when I go to put the next layer on. Um, it will need two layers so that it's solid and it, you can't see the cut through it. So I'm just gonna go back in here and I'm gonna grab some more of my Mod Podge and I'm gonna put it right on top of where I can still see, I know it's hard to see on video, but I can still see where my stencil is. So I'm just going to brush that on there And I'm not going to put any more over this red section right here because I like the way that looks now. But I am going to blend the other colors into it on this next step. So the first color that I had used, which is right there, is the Janelle by Recollections. And I'm going to hold this a little further away so that I can get a little bit less dusted on there. And then when I go to use my next color, it's easier to blend it in that way and create that nice fade. This is the sugar light, and I'm gonna do the same thing from a little bit further away and just dust a little bit on there. And then Orchid, same thing. Hold it back here and just lightly dust a little bit on so that it's all blended. Back to the greens, I started with Paradise. So I'm gonna do that again from up here. And then Emerald. Y'all, it's hard to watch the frame and make sure that I got everything in there while I'm doing this. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't look like much right now, does it? I am gonna take this last color, the pesto, and I'm just gonna put this a little bit over the top. If I can get open. A little bit over the top of the other colors and anywhere that there's any of the Mod Podge still wet in there, it's gonna stick to it. It's just gonna create a nice effect. So. This is what we're looking at so far. We put all those colors on there and it's not very pretty. I'm going to take this outside again on my second layer and I'm going to do that blast of the sealant one more time. And this is not a heavy coat guys, it's literally just like a 
tap it with your finger just enough to where you have enough on there to move on to the next step and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So here's the final step of this, guys. It's kind of awkward that you can't see my face, huh? Okay, so what you'll do now, while this is still wet, don't wait for it to dry, is you're going to peel your stencil off. This is the best part, y'all. And I used a old scrap of 631. I think that probably originally came with my machine that I dare not use for any important projects. Can y'all see this? Da, da, da. Okay. Peel all these little inside pieces off. And right here on the bottom, I um I got a little bit of glitter stuck to the sealant that I sprayed on there. That's no big deal. This is going to get another coat of epoxy, so just dust that off. Here's what we got, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so I am looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Let me know if you need me to go into detail about anything that I did in this video. Um, I'd be glad to give you any pointers or go over something else if I wasn't clear on how I do it. Um, I'll also post a picture so you can see in the still frame, but this is let me get some more light on this, y'all. This is so pretty. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you make something beautiful.